Mm. 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 Hey everybody, it's Mark Shepard and you have landed on the Morning Cryptos. It is Saturday, January 27th. Not quite sure how that happened so fast, but today we're going to check in, see what's going on with the market, see what's going on in the Bitcoin news, see if there's something about to happen because it kind of seems like something is going to happen. So uh, is it going to go up? Is it going to go down? Is it going to go sideways? Probably. But let's start the music and let's check it out. Go ahead and do it. Start the music. this early in the morning. It's a Saturday morning. What am I doing up at 7.14? I mean, I was actually up a lot earlier, but I was trying to kill time so that I'd have a little light coming through the window that's behind my computer. And because it's Saturday, I don't need to, like, get up that early, but it's just, I do, because I love this so much, and I love talking to you, these little talks we have. It just... I don't know, just starts my day the right way. So I want to seriously, sincerely thank you guys for watching and for your comments. And uh, not a whole lot to report, but there is some stuff in the news to look at. So let me take another swig of Java and let's get into it. Let's do it. Mm. Mm -hmm. As you can see here, Bitcoin is kind of tightening down a little bit. The only problem here is the only it's not really a problem but we have this downward trend and we don't have a whole lot on the other side to push it the other way um you know we have we have like this little bit here so we got ourselves a little bit of a wedge and if you pull it back a little bit you know what does this line do oh it connects with a much longer trend. And when I draw it that way, I feel hopeful. <laughs> but when I draw it this way, I feel like, oh shit, this thing could go down. But what do I know? I don't know shit about this stuff other than I've been watching it and the, you don't need a special chart or a special anything to to feel that there's a lot of a lot less energy in the market it's pretty quiet and it's just hanging down here so let's look at this news see what we got here um coindesk bitcoin price seeks direction as trading range narrows now i read this article and you know i highly recommend you scan through these kinds of articles but like i come away basically they have five reasons why it could go up and five reasons why it could come down. And it's all based on all kinds of their indicators and technical trading. But the bottom line is they end the article. It could go up or it could go down or it could go sideways. That gives me courage that nobody really knows what the hell is going on because we're trying to predict the future and we can't. However, the trend is your friend. Um, Bitcoin has gone up a lot longer than it has come back. So just consider that uh, trends tend to continue and we also needed this break and we needed this pause. So I think we're okay. I think things are gonna be all right. People have been claiming that Bitcoin was done so many times that after a while you're kind of becoming a little bit immune to that if you've been here for a while. But the newbies might be going, oh well, I guess Bitcoin's over. and it, it might go down a little more. However, <laughs> it may be down, but it ain't out. And uh, so, anyway, uh, this is an interesting article. The Chinese are getting around the government ban on Bitcoin, and they're using uh, some of these um, these apps on their phones to do it. A lot. Uh, three of the main Chinese exchanges have moved to Hong Kong. And um, 
but now the Hong Kong markets uh, are trading at a premium. And so people are doing arbitrage between Coinbase and these uh, Hong Kong based exchanges. Interesting little article uh, to check out, but to prevent Chinese investors from buying digital currencies, the government and the People's Bank of China have asked local banks to disclose any suspicious transactions linked to Hong Kong based markets. However, even this action will not be able to prevent Chinese investors from accessing Hong Kong based markets due to apps such as Alipay and WeChat Pay. So the apps are coming in. Interesting stuff. Governments will try. I think ultimately they will fail because there are so many conduits. There's so many little, it's like water seeks its own level. Money, people want to grow their money. And there's no other place on the planet where people can grow their money. I mean, not today particularly, but in general, there's no other place on the planet where people can grow their money. And uh, I don't know if you paid attention to it, but the U.S. dollar is not doing well. It's kind of falling. Um, so interesting times, and I think it might not be a bad time to get yourself a little Bitcoin. That's just a guess. It's a, you know, we don't know. It could go down farther. I just have a feeling it's kind of holding here because it's kind of holding. So that's my uh, that's my contribution to the conversation. And uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Leave a comment below. And let's just kind of quick grind through these. I won't I won't land. I won't talk too much. Hopefully, but uh, Bitcoin Cash down. Um, Bitcoin Gold. And I said this yesterday, I said it the day before, I love the Bitcoin gold chart. I don't know if it's quite time yet, but in a day or two, I'm thinking I might want to get some and see if I can hang on and range trade again, see if we have another pop at some point. That's something I'm thinking about. Um, Dash, just I think hanging, hanging steady at 760-ish. Um, Curious what it looks like on the one hour chart since I haven't really looked at it on the one hour chart in a while. Yeah, it's just it's just kind of working away into a little sideways range. And I particularly like sideways trading ranges. What can I say? I like them because then it gives me time to think and time to do some research and time to ponder and time to get a feeling. When when stuff moves really fast. You know, then, then I tend to take a step back, um, which I think is probably a good thing to do. Um, EOS is just hanging nicely. I mean, of all the currencies that I watch carefully, EOS is doing really well. It's doing the best. And this, we have a little wedge here. Um, we have a little wedge here. But this wedge, unlike the Bitcoin wedge, is seems like it's mostly up but either way <laughs> either way it's uh, eos is doing well you can't argue with that um ethereum boom just hanging right right in there around you know the thousand thousand sixty kind of mark iota and hang it in i still think it's a good time to get some i think I think we're seeing a lot of really, you know, it's, it kind of feels like it's landed. Now, I could be totally wrong. Disclaimer, 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 right? But this one I'm feeling, right? And the whole purpose of this channel is not to give you advice, but to test out my ideas and my theories in real time and to see, am I beginning to really get it, right? And no one's going to get it 100% of the time. But it feels to me like these markets have kind of settled into a, a place where, you know, it may be a little longer before they move, but I'm encouraged that it doesn't seem like they're dropping much. They're kind of holding their price. They're just not moving. That, to me, I think is a good thing. NEO uh, was boosting like a crazy thing, and now it's come back, and it's just kind of settling in to a certain level, 135. Omise Go, same deal, kind of just hanging in. Quantum, just hanging in, just the hanging in. And on some of these, I'm below the market. 
I'm, I mean, I'm above the market in my entry point. So I got to be patient. And that's the other piece is now I know when, when a, we're kind of due for a correction and it feels like we're due for a correction, like you look at any boost like this, it's like that just doesn't keep going, right? There's usually 90% of the time there's some kind of retracement afterwards, but it usually lands at a higher level than it was. And here we have a higher level in Ripple than we had. I can move it up a little bit here. It was down here, had the big move, then came back most of the way, but not all the way, and now it's a higher level. Boom. So I would like to see a little more sideways action on Ripple, but it's the ones where you think, okay, you know, nothing's happening. Boom. And then, then it goes. So that's what I'm looking for. Zcash, same deal. It's all the same. You know, there may be some that are up. Let me just look at Cardano against Bitcoin, kind of hanging in there. Cardano against uh, Ethereum, flat, hanging in. And Cardano against the US dollar, just hanging in. All right, so uh, basic attention token. Oh, I was talking about it yesterday. I must have moved the market with my 473 uh, subscribers. <laughs> I don't know how many subscribers I have, but uh, it's not very much. And so I definitely didn't move the market. But basic attention token, what's different about it than about Bitcoin, right? Basic attention token does something right? It actually does something that you can use today. The Brave Browser, that's what I'm looking at this through. The Brave Browser, something you can use today and it works and they continually update it and it's getting better. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing to have no ads. Uh, so basic attention token, I definitely bought some yesterday and now I'm in the money. <laughs> so that's good. It's nice. It was fun to buy stuff again because I hadn't been, I like the buying and the selling, and I like the making money, and I like finding somewhere to put the money that I made. It's exciting, and, and it's quiet now. That's all. It's just a quiet time. It's just a quiet time in the winter of our discontent. Uh, let me just see what else I got here. I'm going to look at NXT. Still low. Well, I want to look at uh, 10x. What's 10x doing? Uh, against Bitcoin, 10x is just kind of hanging. Do, 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 do. So, yeah, people, it's a quiet day here. Another quiet day in Lake Wobegon. Uh, I'm sure there's something that's moving. <clears throat> if we go to World Coin Index, which loads slowly, but I like it. I don't know. I like it better than coin market cap in some ways. Uh, it's just slower. Um, I like the fact that they have a U.S. dollar chart, and I can just kind of get a clear sense of what it's doing, and it's kind of hanging in sideways, and that's nice. Okay, let's look at um, just another tool that's helpful, and more people do this than I do, but just to kind of look at you know what's up what's down you can kind of scan through and you can see there's a lot of red but it's it's like single digit stuff like down one percent down three percent up one percent and that the only thing is this ad token is up 22 percent so that would be worth checking in and this is the time when you can start doing research you have a little time start looking into the coins that are doing the opposite of what everything else, like AirSwap. What's going on with AirSwap? What's going on with LotChain? What's going on with Odyssey? And I'm not saying invest in them because they're, they're going up. You don't want to buy when they're going up. You want to buy now when stuff isn't going up, but you want to see what are the characteristics of the, of the projects that when everything else is flat, these guys are going up. And that's why this is a good tool. But it takes you doing some work, some research. And uh, and I've been just taking a little break, so I haven't been doing that research right now. I'm just needed a little rest, and that's good too. So the markets need a rest. You need a rest. I need a rest. It's Saturday. Things seem like they're kind of squeezing down and tightening up, and that could mean that they're ready for a move, or it could mean it's just going to keep going sideways, or it could mean it's about to drop. Those three things are always possible. <laughs>
So you have a chance to be right. One out of three possibilities here every day. So uh, that's it for today. And my name is Mark Shepard. This has been The Morning Cryptos. And uh, if you like this, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and do that little ring the bell thing so you get notifications. And if you like music, check below this video. And every single video below the video is a link to my new CD, The Key to Your Cage. And it's filled with deeply positive, powerful, hypnotic language patterns that if you get stuck in your head, just might change your life. <laughs> Or you just might like listening to the music. Or it might not be your thing at all. Either way, check it out. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. I take Sundays off usually, so we'll see if I take it off tomorrow. Uh, but if I don't see you tomorrow, I'll see you Monday. And thank you guys very much. Thanks for all your comments and all your new subscribers. Welcome. And stuff like that. Done. Start the music.